Do you not. Uh, I do not see a countdown. I see it's right. live. Ah, I think we are actually live now. So um, you were telling me that U plus one is an umbrella program. An umbrella brand. Brand. Right. Okay. So um, again, the the initial thought. This is actually part of where we had our conversations yesterday. Welcome everybody. Come join us. This is going to be even more fun than yesterday because we've got even more coming at you. Um, but uh, um, uh, U plus one is an umbrella brand, meaning it's a trusted vetted resource network. It's because I've, because my partner, Sean G. Murphy and I have shared the stage with so many people, had so much access to people, met so many people across our careers. Uh, and we both share a, a desire to make the world a better place. Okay. I, know it's an, I know it's a big over, overarching goal, but quite frankly, we think that, um, you know, we should do everything in our power to help other people with their missions and things like that. Just like we would love people like you are doing with us, helping us and all of our viewers here with their missions. So U plus one is kind of an overarching umbrella brand, meaning it's a trusted vetted resource network. We have access to people that most people don't have access to. Not because we're anything special, just because we've had the opportunity to meet them across our paths. So what we wanted to do is create a, um, and the other side of it is um, everybody any, every speaker, trainer, author, business coach, consultant, whatever, everybody wants to help the masses. Yeah. And nobody wants to start with just one. You know, everybody wants the big deals. They don't necessarily want the little deals. And so Sean and I were at an event and we got really frustrated with what was going on. And we felt like the audience was being tainted that, that, our, our profession was not there to be of service. It was there to be of what profession? speaking, training, okay. coaching, consulting. Uh, I, I know it's a general statement, but unfortunately, far too many. There's so much skepticism in the world today. Is it possible for people to really, truly want to help you? The answer is yes. There are people that truly want to help people. But there's been so much uh, conflict and bickering and stuff. Anyway, so we came down to the to the point where we were talking about this. I said, your stated goal is to help millions. My stated goal since 2003 to help uh, a billion or more on the planet. Right. You know, um, but none of us want to start with just one. He said, yeah, like I came here because I'm your plus one and you're my plus one. I said, two telling, two telling. Two telling two 32 times covers everybody on the planet. Nobody wants to start with just one. Hmm. And he said, yeah, it's nothing more than you plus one. And as soon as he said it, I got a lightning bolt. I mean, I literally had a visceral shot in my body that I said, that's it. And so I said, hold on a second. We were on the second floor foyer. I, I ran downstairs down the steps into the hotel lobby to the computer in the lobby. And I bought uplus1.com. And I came back up and I said, that's it. You and I are starting a worldwide movement, a community committed to helping people one at a time. How can we be your plus one? So as an example, and you're so fabulous at everything that you do and are doing here live on screen, I'm your plus one from a talking head side. You're my plus one from the marketing fulfillment side. No, I think right? that is what I told you. I was like, I like to build funnels. I am natively an introvert. I was like, I don't know. I can entertain the crowd while I build a funnel at the same time. Well, but see, that's why. So U plus one is an umbrella brand of service. How can we serve you better? How can we help you? How can we connect you with the resources that you want, you need? And so, uh, again, when we were doing the first part of the, the first page of the funnel yesterday, uh, when you ask what I realized is afterwards, of course, you always realize it afterwards. You don't realize it in the in the in the throes of it. 
is that I don't know that I ever really gave you the foundation of the entire brand. And if you don't have the foundation of the brand, it's really hard for people to know why you're putting together what you're putting together. No, actually, in fact, um, let's see, I'm trying to do a button, button text. It seriously takes just five minutes. Maybe. I heard someone yesterday call this a Belcher button from Perry Belcher, where you add text, like a line of text underneath it. Very cool. Um, so we're actually working on um, Rayanne Keynes now and improving her. So she started, and I'm coming back in to um, help her improve it. And that is one of the things I had her write was her story. Right. So the first thing that I actually had to do was write her story, but then to come back over and layer a story brand on top of it. So let me, um, I'm going to like send this link to you <clears throat> and awesome. you can post it in the comments. Oh my gosh. Story. Because I'm live, it's going to like grow really slow. And the reason I always like to share the direct link is because there's a couple um, that are not, they're, they're kind of like, if you're not paying attention and you don't know what you're looking for, you're going to get like the wrong book. Right. Um, so I'm going to put it in our little clipboard over here that's in VLive. He'll share that in the comments. Um, but yeah, I like to have everyone like build it on a story brand and the story brand is really, I mean, there's a whole book and I will say this about story brand is you can do it completely on audible. You don't need the hard book. <laughs> so as a mom with three kids, like audible is awesome. Right. But it really comes down and, um, the story brand can be layered on everything. It can be layered here. Um, this is going to be Rayanne's homepage, but also it will be, um, the start of you know her landing page, like her homepage and your homepage and everyone's homepage should have some kind of offer on it. Like the only reason your homepage should maybe be a little bit different is if you do want to um, add a little bit more value or there's more stories or there's more things that you need. Like as an agency, people want to link to like, what are my services, right? They want to see if I offer what they need. Um, but story brand can be layered on top and it comes down to really simple. Like the first problem is everybody wants to be Batman, right? I think you and I had this conversation, right? And I've right. literally sat down with clients. They're like, no, but I really want to be Batman. I'm like, you don't get to be Batman. Your client has to be Batman. I don't care if you're cutting right. hair, if you're an IT professional, if you're building websites, it doesn't matter. Your client is Batman. Your client has a very specific problem, right? And they want you to help them solve it. And that's where you, the mentor, the Q to Bond, the Alfred to Batman step in and you give them a set journey, right? Here's step one, two, three. Here's the 20 step path. Here's the 30 day um, challenge. What did we do with, uh, we're doing with Business Growth Network Insiders is um, if you are just starting out or you, you've either, you need to restart because what you're doing is not working. Here's the 30 day roadmap to business success, right? Right, and let me call a quick timeout. Okay, quick go time ahead. Out. Give me the link so that I can make sure that we promote this so we get people to join us. Oh, okay. Well, I thought I put it in the chat for BeLive, but let me give it to you in Facebook. That might be easier. I gave you the short one that's not like a mile long and look terrible. Um, but that story brand, you actually give them an actual roadmap and then you tell them, I'm going to um, help you overcome failure, right? There's failure and things going wrong is like, it just happens, right? But I'm going to help you overcome all that. We're going to work with you. And the next one is you have to call them to action. You have to tell them, hey, stop feeling in pain. Like in the case of um, Rayanne here, get out of pain, get moving, you know, knock off your right. bucket list. And then you have to show them success. You have to be able to show them success too, that they're not the first ones to take this journey. Absolutely. I want to, uh, let me, maybe I didn't make myself clear. I know that the that's the story link on Amazon, but I'm talking about actually watching yeah. us here on in the group. Oh, oh, where are we? Okay, hold on. Yeah, we want, uh, this is way too good of stuff. And and okay, even though they missed uh, nine minutes of it live, they can catch it later on on the recording. Oh, yeah. And so that's uh, what I meant. My bad. Be, 
Here, let me go put it on my live screen here instead of operating without you. So it's always <laughs> going to be hosted on my Warfare Marketing page just simply because I'd like to do it into private groups, honestly. Um, but right. running any kind of Facebook Live right now inside of a group is really difficult and it doesn't give us the chance to see comments um, and take live feedback. All right, you know what? That's going really slow. So let me just, oh, now it opens. Now it opens. So it works. I'm not, I'm not gonna even try to wait for your, your message to pop up there. So here's it, it's in your Facebook message. Okay. Here, and if you could share that um, to some of the groups already, and I need to add you to Fembot Army too, where um, I'm going to have everybody go, and we're going to start. So we're getting there. This week is like the learning curve, right? That's right, um, exactly. But for purposes of moving forward, my goal is like at the beginning, like on Friday, I think, to give and post in this group, and I'll post like. 10 people that we can do this free funnel or the free email or the free strategy or whatever it is each person needs, right? Because a couple of people are like, I just need email. I've got my funnels, right? Right. Um, but I'm going to post them all up there and I'm just going to let you and people choose. And you tell me what we're doing <laughs> the following. <Perfect. laughs> and that way it's just not all on me. Like that there's some like, user feedback. Oh, sure, you're going to dump it on me. I get how this works. Oh, no, but that way y'all can have fun and y'all can surprise me and be like, Jenna, suck it. This is what we're doing. No, I think what's what's so amazing about this, and I sent you my story, by the way, because I had it all written out as well. I mean, we, we've had the story written out, so I sent it by Where um, did you send it to me? Facebook Messenger. Uh, uh, did you send it like on Facebook or email? Facebook Messenger. Okay. I'll have to go back and get it. Yeah. So, but again, I totally agree with you. When you have the genesis of the brand and where it came from, this is where you really take and refine it. And what's happened, uh, because we have a desire to connect good people with good people, I'm speaking from our side, yeah. what's happening is now, so the travel product came to us, um, bank code. Uh, we've created an affiliation with Sherry Tree and Esther Wildenberg and Bank Code. What we want to do is we want to match good people with good people. By the way, we use this stuff ourselves too, right? Because right. we're good people. So that's what we want to do. And and obviously what you and I are doing here, you match good people with good people so that we can help more people. That's the way it works. Right. So uh, I, I think what's happening here is really exciting. And, and I look forward to being able to help as we start tweaking other, or you start creating other people's funnels and we start creating ideas from a sales standpoint. In other words, giving you some things that are attractive. Oh, that is uh, so to, what I need. <laughs> uh, well, that's what I'm saying is I, that's why I think this is going to be a lot of fun. You know how to build it from a, from a technical side and a conversion side and all those kinds of things, which are the only reason anybody gets into business in the first place is to have success, is, is to make it work. Nobody purposely goes out and tries to, uh, create something that doesn't work. So again, I said it yesterday, I'll say it today, I'll probably say it every time we do this, is that you do the best you can with what you know at that time. Once you know more, you can do better. And so coming together with you here is a way of learning more and knowing more. Once you start to understand, sometimes less is more you know, uh, less verbiage, less this, less that, not just a, a page of chatter, right? right. We, you want to get to the specifics. So um, anyway, it's all, I'm just looking, I'm, I'm getting messages on my phone. We're getting messages on the screen. We're getting comments. Let me just take a look at this comment uh, and what's happening here. Um just that would be Dwayne. So Dwayne is one of the ones that we are going to be building out this week. Awesome. Well, Dwayne, we look forward to working with you for sure. And uh -huh. one of the reasons I really want to do his is I feel like when we start talking about funnels and marketing and ads and all these different things, 
there's a whole group of people out there who are just like, oh, that's not for me. <laughs> um, and even Dwayne, I've actually built one out for Dwayne um, for a different business um, for lawn care, right? And a lot of people are like, it's not for me. It's for those internet people and those, um, those coaches and those trainers and the speakers. Dwayne is builds concrete block structures and I'll try to get Dwayne on maybe even live so he can come. So Dwayne, if you could go ahead and explain it to like Scott so he can like understand what you're doing. Um, but yeah, like it, it's total construction, like that idea of belly to belly, but you still need a way to bring people in and educate them and you still have a sales process. And so we'll be building his out. Awesome. In a, well, the, a crazy the, one, right? Yeah. The, the reality is that this is the way that people receive information today. And so you can sit there and say, um, it's funny because I made the example the other day. I was joking about a guy. I said, he's been around so long. He used to use an abacus. And he, he said, I know you said that as a joke, but I actually did. I actually learned how to use an abacus. Now, there's probably going to be people on this live or that watch the recording and go, what the heck's an abacus? Right. So, I mean, that's how long it's been gone. But uh, the, the point is, um, the internet is the great equalizer. It and, is. and so uh, it's the game changer. It's the, it's the everything um, that, you know, whether you're a single person entity or whatever, one of the, one of the interesting things that what just popped into my head there is one of the chambers of commerce around the Dallas Fort Worth area uh -huh. has has 8,006 companies in their metro in their area. Okay. There's 8,006 companies in their area. Okay. Five, 5,963 of those companies are five employees or less. 70. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't that make you go, huh? There's 8,006 companies in their city, in their chamber, in their chamber area. Okay. 5,976 are five employees or less. That's 73.6% of all the companies are five employees or less. Oh, wow. So when you, so when you start to think about that, think about how you have to be chief cook and bottle washer. You have to, you know, you really almost have to, in so many cases, you have to be everything to everybody, which is why, exactly why. You cut out on me? You're not allowed to cut out on me. Cut on you? Let me go see. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what, what I might have. No, no, no. I'm, what I was saying is that you have to be the, you know, you you have to, learn as much as you can as an entrepreneur or a small business owner. But at the same time, you need to also recognize that there are people who are really good at what they do and create those alliances with them as you and I have, as Sean, you and I have um, with what we're working to do. Because again, we want to take, we've been very blessed to have connections to people most people don't have connections with. Now, the only thing that that does, I mean, that's wonderful as long as we share those connections, which we want to. We want to work with people. We want to help people align. I got an email from a, from a gentleman today that uh, he said, can you help us raise money for our charity because the kids are depending upon us? Heck yeah. No those pressure. are the yeah, no pressure, no pressure, but that's exactly the kinds of things we want to do. Um, we want we want people to live. That's again, how can we be your plus one? You know, how can how can I aid you in your mission to show people how to that they need funnels, not just because you're trying to sell them funnels. I mean, no, it's it, really it's not it's like because. So it's the it's because they need from. this. They need this in order to attract people into their business so they can serve that market. 
That's the key. Well, how this kind of like really came from on my side is my funnels are expensive. So even when I first started out, and Dwayne would know this, um, I charged, I think, $4,000 for a funnel. So for what we're doing right here was kind of $4,000, a little bit more obviously involved because it was multiple aspects of each one of the right. funnel people, right? Um, but I was really poor, even at that point, of explaining to the other person, right, all, you know, why this is important and how they can really use it. I was like, just drive traffic, right? Here, just pay attention here in your CRM. But I mean, now, man, the last ones that I've done at, um, where it's full price up front, like full price up front, like somebody has to turn around and cut a really fat check, right? It was all in. There was one check for, what was it? Almost 2000 one for 21000 and one for 5000 for the email. So what is that? That's like, it's, if it's not over 30. 20, 27, it's right at 30. Yeah. So, I mean, that's like really expensive and that's completely out of the price range. On the flip side, I have all these like people who are like really great people and they're like, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> but you look at them and you like want to help them, right? And so like some of my right. first clients, um, what do I want to do with this one? You know, they bought like literally I had one of my first clients who had, um, and man, this female was awesome. Back starting like, I mean, you know, when women just do, didn't do this, she's built and sold over 11 businesses over the course nice. of years for millions of dollars each. Millions. And so when I was helping her build her latest venture in retirement, right, um, she bought a new polo pony, like a pony that's specifically for playing polo. And she went down to Argentina for an entire month to play because apparently like Argentina is like a big polo place. I didn't know that, Absolutely. Um, but she, that's what she did. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's cool. You want to help people pursue their dreams. Right. But at the end of the day, like, where's the love for that? Right. I just wasn't, you're kind of like, eh. Whereas if I help like a mom here in Frisco build a business, yep. one moms are like the, the ultimate multiplier, ultimate multiplier. Right. Because they don't just help their business. Their money doesn't just go back to their family. They teach their kids, their husbands. They pass that information on to them. Like giving something to a mom like that is just huge, right? It pays for college tuition. It gets, you know, Johnny, you know, on the you know, Little League football team. Like these little things that just make an actual really big difference in their world. Um, and that's yep. just amazing. And then to sit there and tell that person, no. It's going to be 21,000. Suck it. Like that's just. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I totally agree with you. And I, and I think that that's what's so exciting about this because um, that's how we can touch more lives together. And that's why I'm, you know, when you ask me, you know, would I, would I entertain the idea of doing this? Heck yeah. Because it's very congruent with wanting to see people live their dreams and be able to do what they need to and want to do. You know, there's, we're not, we're not missing want to in this country for the most part. There's a lot of people who've got want to, I want to do something. How to know how to, that's the stuff that's kind of missing. So if we can help some people uh, through the business growth network, through working with warfare marketing through working with U plus one, if we can do some things, I mean, we have access to tools. The vast majority of people don't even know exist. Tools you go right. out on me. No, I'm here. Yeah, there you I'm go. Here. You're back. I'm, I never left. It's you're the, ah. you're the one who froze. <laughs> all, me. But, all you, but what I was saying is that, that, um, right, wrong, and different. We have the access to tools and to pieces of information that sometimes people don't have. And so if we can share those tools, if we can give people a, an easy way to accomplish something, if we can help them move towards their dream, they're going to be less frustrated. They're going to have greater success. They're going to keep on moving forward. They're going to do the things that they want to do, which again is exciting. As a trainer, I can teach you all sorts of stuff, 
But what I can't teach you is want to. If you don't have oh, want that's to, the it, it, if I if you don't have want to, the rest is problematic, right? But if you right. want could to accomplish something, then we can work to refine, which is again the only. So from our side, that's why when when you said, well, why don't we do lives every day? Why don't we go out there and we'll build funnels for people? We'll help give some people ideas. We'll do a variety of different things. And let's just make it as good as we can make it. Um, I'm in. There, there's only two answers. Hell yes and hell no. This is a, <laughs> this is a hell yes answer. This is a, you know, let's get together and figure out how we can um, help some people accomplish their dreams, their wants, their desires. So that's exciting. It is. And so um, to kind of like show everybody what I'm doing here, I'm using a company called or an application called Visme. And Visme is really cool um, if you have no design skills whatsoever. <laughs> And you just want something done for you. And like, obviously I can use it a little bit more, um, more differently. We'll say, is that a great way of putting it? Um, because I do have some design skills and kind of know what I want, but you can come in here and it's got all these like templates and you just tell it what kind of picture you want. Do you want a menu? Do you want a resume? Oh my gosh. It has more resumes in here that are stunning than I can't, I can't even. Um, really? Oh my gosh. So you know those kind of pretty resumes you put in a package when you like go visit somebody right. like the actual really nice ones. Mm -hmm. uh, it has those, but all the social media images and you just click on it and tell people what you want or tell them what you want. Like if you look right here, I'm going through free stock photography. So stock is like super expensive. Um, right. and, and just, man, it adds up so quickly and I'm sitting here trying to find, you know, something that represents movement. Breathing, maybe yoga I might do yoga. Actually, let me try yoga. There should be a lot of yoga pictures. Oh, yoga, yoga. A great horizontal yoga picture. Kind of like this one. What does that look like? Such a long, thin picture. I need something for background. You need something for background and movement. I don't like that. I just wish it was more um, horizontal and linear. I've got some uh, waves. That yeah, lots of, I, I need a person because so Rayanne, what she does, I don't know how okay. well you, because um, Rayanne's here in Dallas. She helps retrain the mind to not, to help overcome pain so you can avoid doctor visits and expensive and medication that's just honestly dangerous to take and it's so weird like sometimes when she's explaining it i'm like oh that's woo woo it's you know crazy energy stuff but hers is actually very um science-based it's kind of like a manual therapy kind of out of physical therapy and medical massage where it's actually working with like neurons very science based, but you, it sometimes explaining it because it whew, goes over our heads. We don't get that. Yeah, for sure. I, you know, I'm, I live a lot in that. Uh, I've, I've trained in the chiropractic industry for probably 15 years now. So I'm all about that holistic, uh, you know, we were built to be perfect model. Some some of some of us tend to mess that up. You know, we are terrible on our bodies. <laughs> I took that saying like you should um what is it? Like don't slide into heaven in a perfect, you know, condition. Slide right. in like you were sliding into home base all scarred up and I think I took that to the extreme. I just sent you I sent you one. Let's Might be interesting. Do I have a Facebook app. Oh, we got a Facebook on the other one. What do we have here? Oh, I, I like it. The one you found. I was looking somewhere else. Oh, girl, dude, that's like a bit much. 
I have to share this with everybody. Okay, so that's all good. In that, in that story, brand is that you're portraying a roadmap that is possible. I yeah. am in great health, and of course, this picture is not. Look at this. I am in great health, and I am not positive that I could do that. <laughs> I think I probably definitely could have done it in my young age. <laughs> well, yeah. hey, so again, I, I looked at a resource that I use and, uh, you know, that's what I found. I, trust me, there were a whole lot more, but that I get it. It was a little extreme. Let's see if I can tag Ray in. I might have to go to my, I do. I think I need to change to my personal page on my business page. And then let's tag Rayanne Kane so she can maybe join the conversation. At Rayanne. Can't spell Rayanne. Very cool. It's not going to let me do it. Let me just um, copy that link. So I think I actually sent you the straight up link um, for my whole page instead of just At the Rayanne. one. Oh, can't spell Rayanne. Oh, go off, go off. It's not going to let me do it. Let me just um, copy that link. So I think I, boom, like sitting there talking to myself, watching. That one's confusing. <laughs> but yeah, that that moves a bit much. We want to make all the imagery be the happy, happy, happy after place um, that our person is in, right? Let's see, Rayan. Well, but see, I think what what's interesting here here's two different, and there were a lot of choices there on what I was looking at, but that's a prime example of how I'm listening to what you're saying and. I get that that was a pretty extreme version, right? But that is the intricacies of creating a funnel that converts versus one that might be off-putting versus something like that. I mean, that's where the expertise comes in, in being able to do this. So uh, the, here's what I've come to realize over town. There, there's stuff that I'm really good at and there's stuff that I'm not nearly as good at and would rather work with the people who are really good at the places that I'm not really good at. Makes a whole lot of sense. Man, like you sales, know? I feel like the first person I need to hire is like a sales person. <laughs> it's like full time on staff here. Um, because man, I just, sales man is not my thing. Can I, I don't know if I can color pick. That would be, I think that probably the one downside to this program. Um, let's see if I go to background. I don't want to upload a background. I want to choose a background. Is it not letting me mess? Filter. Oh, filter. That's why. Um, color overlay. So I don't think I can actually choose. It's not like Photoshop where I can um, get an image out. So let me try um, pull Xcode um, URL. So here's a, a funny little trick. If you don't actually know, let me see, go back to where I thought I had Facebook up. If you don't have the colors for your brand or like your logo is old, right? There are places um, that you can just pull the colors right off the image. So I'm going to show you here. So here is her Facebook page, Pain Relief Therapy. I'm kind of assuming that somewhere here is a logo. I can upload it. Um, they do the same thing. So Color Picker Online is usually my favorite. You can see it highlighted in purple there. I can upload my image or I can use a URL. Um, let's see if it'll let me use a Facebook URL. I take image. Do your thing. Uh, that's pretty amazing. It's working on it. So I read two sites that you've shared this morning and I feel like I know a fair amount about this, but there's two sites that you shared this morning that I had no clue existed. That's yeah, awesome. Which ones are those? Color Picker and, um, and Visme. So I got Facebook. I can pull Facebook blue. 
you could probably Google. So I don't think that one's going to work as well for me. So I'm going to come over here, save image to downloads. And I'm just going to hit upload my own image. That might be faster anyway. And so I've just uploaded it, send image. So, you know, maybe, you know, maybe it's your company image and you just never had access. So I've been kind of like using random purple. So now it just pulls the pretty hex code that I need right there. Right. Exactly. Um, so I don't have to guess anymore. I can know that it is her color. I'm going to go over here to filter. I'm actually going to change this out to her exact colors. So instead of using the template colors, we're actually using her color, right? That's awesome. Let's rename it background so she can find it if she ever wants to use it for a different page. So that's the best part about when you're creating these initial assets is to start using them across all the different pages so that when somebody lands on your stuff, it looks like we're stuck, like crazy exactly. men, right? Well, branding branding is a huge part of everything, and a consistent, congruent look uh, is huge. Uh, I mean, you might notice some branding in the background of of this live. Um, one of the things that that we did, and and again, logos aren't necessarily the only way of doing that, but but it is a way of doing it. And, um, you know, when you find something that you feel conveys the message of what you're doing, we wanted U plus one to be helping hands. Well, the U is two helping hands, lifting up the plus one. So um, again, it's, it's things like this that are really important uh, as we go forward. I think I made everything purple and now I want to take it back to that blue. And I actually love that. Yeah. The blues looks really nice. And that's actually her color. So um, instead of trying to use the templatized color, yeah. now actually adding her blue. I mean, it just makes all the difference right there. So yep. I'm going to come back and take all this purple off. And you know, when you're using these um, templates, it's really easy just to come in and use their colors and by all means, like use their colors, right? If you just need to get something up and out the door, right? I'm a big fan and up and out the door, but you can see how easy it is to just come in here and change those colors and look at the immediate difference that that makes on her page, switching yeah. to those totally brand colors. I mean, that's amazing. Oops. And then I think what I'm going to do, because I really want to add the, the, like the best that I can do for the people that we're building for, whether it be you or even sometimes I figured like I might do me just because. Uh, for because sake, you can. I, because I can. Well, because the other thing is when I'm building for me, the ability I can show different things that other people may not be ready to see or right. do. Um, but other people watching, they need that next step, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I think it's go with that is I'm actually have my web designer start building a bunch of set funnels inside of my Kyvio page that I can transfer to other people. And that way we can start with some of like funnels that are, if I've already gone through and I've done the hard work of like inputting the brand story and inputting the psychology and the 12 steps of a long sales letter. And that way we can zip, zip, zip through. And people right. will have even more mo, mo beta, have mo beta stuff. Yeah, love it. Love the the um, ability to get there quicker. Hey, quicker is always nicer. Yeah. Right? You know well, the the other side of it is a brand. A lot of this is what far too many people do is they they wait for perfection before they put anything out and. Um, perfection. I had, have you ever heard of um, Billy Jean is marketing? Mm -hmm. Yep. So he was at Digital Marketer, uh, one of our partner training days. Uh, right. like, like, and I asked him about that. So he was showing this video that was just, man, awesome for him, right? And it did so well 
but I was watching it. I mean, this guy's great at video now. Like when you watch some of his right. videos, it's like there's, it, it, he's just a master of video. That's what he does. Right. Right. But this particular one, he replicated him and his team. They replicated um, Street Fighter. You remember like, oh, I mean, old school Street Fighter, like at the arcade. And he yeah. had his people like doing all these weird dances, just like you would pick your person at the arcade. And he sat there and he, um, they filmed on a green screen and they transferred over to like a very gamer background, just like the video game had, but with his people. But every now and then you would see like them kick and their foot would come off where they left the green screen or like when they inputted it, it wasn't the full piece. And I, I asked him, I was like, how do you get over the input, like those imperfections? And I am, I mean, granted, he's a little bit of a showman, right? He does video. He literally got on his hands and knees and was like, you've got to get over that, Jenna. Like, just let it go. The perfection will kill you. You cannot let perfection get in your way. Launch it, then fix it. <laughs> yeah. AB split test it. I'll tell you what, like so many times we will AB split test, the, the ugly page wins. Totally, ugly totally. Page wins. Totally agree. I mean, that's when uh, Sean and I actually even talking about U plus one, uh, I said, so you're ready to launch. And he <laughs> said, we don't have this. 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 I said, I didn't call to find out what we didn't have. I already know all that. The question is, are you ready to launch? And he said, well, in that case, yes. And so I said, this is ready. This is Tom Peters, ready, fire, aim. Right. right. Sometimes you just got to go and you got to put things out there and you'll find things along the way. Um, you go out and test your presentation. Like you said, it, what's really interesting on the Internet, it's common practice to A, B and A, B test and split test. And, you know, here's this landing page versus this landing page. Which one converts more clicks? Which one does more? which one is more productive, quote unquote. Right. But we think we don't, I think if you're a natural or a, a fairly trained salesperson, you actually are A-B uh, testing all the time with presentation, all the time. You, you present it one way and you kind of gauge the response and then you tweak and you modify and you do whatever, at least you should be. So whether it's digitally or verbally, quite frankly, you're doing very much the same thing, but I don't think a lot of people necessarily recognize that. Uh, sometimes you just have to go. The chances of you being right are minimal, actually. You'll, you'll be wrong far more than you're ever right, uh, just the way it works. And um, so, uh, you know, I we actually teach this a lot in, in our trainings that you're going to be off course far more than you're ever on course. It's not a matter of being off course. It's a matter of being off course uh, for a shorter distance, less often. Yes, you know, exactly. It, it, it's, it's refining and defining just like you did with those colors is you use the templated colors and you know what? They look pretty darn good. And then all of a sudden you came back to her base colors of the logo mm -hmm. and it was like, Ooh, now that works. Right. Look at that. Yeah. Boom. That just flip. right there. Just the ocean, just the ocean with her color layered yeah. on top of it. And a cool thing that I like about this me, I'll show it really quick is I can come in here to those colors that I'm working with. Oops, wrong one go up here to filter the colors. I can go over here and I can do a save my palette and call it pain relief therapy. So now every single time I work on hers, it's in my palette. And so nice. I actually come back and delete a bunch because uh, it takes in all the colors I'm working with. But this way I have her two colors and then I of course can add, you know, white one two three one two three you know, what's sad is i have a lot of these hex codes absolutely memorized <laughs> that's um, awesome white and black are easy f all the way is white zero all the way is black my red is c seven zero 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 like nerd out on numbers um that's but look awesome. at that that's 
That's <laughs> awesome for you to know those things. <laughs> for me, I like that for me to know those things. <laughs> exactly. Okay, they actually did some formatting here. They got schmancy. That was part of the template. So I'm actually going to come over here. I'm going to see if she has an image that's, that's PNG. Awesome. All right, that, that's PNG right here. So I think this is an older image of her, and she has a PNG of this one somewhere, but we're going to go with this one because it's in here. Where'd it go? Let me expand my screen. Sometimes there's, like, downsides to working in a short screen. Well, that's right. I'm going to see if work, doing it this way works. So this has some coding in it that's a little unique. It's actually HTML, so I'm just going to replace the code with the code of her image, the HTML. Oh, it's not. What the funnel? No. Ah, uh, okay. Not PNG. Um, I thought, let me go to my mailbox. I thought she sent something to me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and just so everybody understands, the reason for it is your, your, subject is already cut out so um the background is becomes transparent as opposed to having a a white background or a colored background of some other sort yes all of a sudden you just pop out of the page as opposed to popping out of a box right ah uh, let me see I think it's, wait, 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 transparent PNG. Yay. Okay. There it is. See, it exists. Way to show the difference. That's awesome. It's great I that you were that thinking. That makes a difference though, right? So you were thinking, you were thinking that far ahead that you wanted to show everybody the difference. That's oh, awesome. Oh yeah, that was totally it. <laughs> <laughs> so let me drag <laughs> this PNG file over. Oh, you know what? Okay, it says this one says transparent on it because that other one, um, it said it was a PNG. It was a PNG file, but it was not transparent. That's right. Makes all the difference. And if you have a picture of you where you would like it to be transparent, you can just go on Fiverr and ask somebody to remove the background. Like you don't have to have any skill. It'll cost you five dollars. And again. Uh, let, just to let everybody know, that's f i v e r r dot com yeah. Fiverr. Uh, there's all sorts of um, talent available that does all sorts of different things, uh, typically for five dollars. Hence the name Fiverr. Uh, can do some pretty amazing things. I am still not getting the picture I wanted. Okay, let me try. I'm about to just insert it. If it's not going to give me, I'm thinking the wrong code. It says transparent. Okay. I then it, it must be. It. It, yeah, right. It said it. It said but it on the it internet. Says it it must it be says true. It, it said it on the internet. It's absolutely got to be true. So, yeah, I don't think her file is actually transparent because that says transparent right there. It is just not transparent. <sighs> Um, how do I want to solve that? I know I have one in somewhere for her. I just don't know where it's at. Yeah, it could, could be a little bit of, um, searchability. I, I, the, um, and I guess I think one of the things that, uh, and I'm sitting here thinking from a, somebody or, or what just popped into my head is why does this make a difference? It just the looks question, okay. You know what? You're absolutely right. The idea is it just looks cool. So on that <laughs> well, note, let me just get over myself. Remember that perfection. You just, I'm just as bad as it is anybody else. I'm just going to put her picture that I know is in here, that I know works. I'm not going to get lost. And then we can even use the slightly better one that I like that's newer. We can use this bright one. Well, that's the other side of it. That's why I wanted to. That's why I wanted to to bring and it out. Make it is, rounded. And around so, it. so now, it, and I do the exact same thing um, as I'm doing my 
so now all of a sudden it's got a little cooler look than just a box. Right. So yeah. That's, your, they, that's yeah. the trick. With nothing else, make it round. That's right. Make it round. It looks like it's a spotlight. It's awesome. Now, the other the other thing that that want everybody to understand is this is exactly how you, to a certain extent, this is an A-B test in itself. Would prefer to have a transparent background so that her picture simply pops out of the background. That's really awesome. I got to tell you something that that just came to me as I'm looking at it. What I'd like to see, I'd like to see her looking the other way. I'd like to see her looking inside as opposed to outside. You know what though? You know what? Let me just stop what I'm doing here. So we have a three column or no, we have a two column set with the two columns on the inside. So we're going to go over here to columns. I'm just going to redo it just so I don't have to, one, I can show you, I guess, how we're doing this. So um, how do they do it? We're going to move it over here, just kind of replicating what they've done here. I'm going to move this here. Here, I think, do they give them a little less space? Because those got bigger, I think. Yeah, they got bigger. So I'm just move it over a little bit more. So you literally just drag and drop elements. That's very cool. Um, I feel like I missed a space in there. I can add some space. All right, see, so we've just switched it around. Cause I agree, like when it comes to like having people's image, right. you should have their, wherever they're looking should be the direction of the material you want seen. Absolutely. I'll give a little margin there. Um, I'm gonna give a little, oops, that's, yeah, setting. I'm, so what I'm doing right now is just adding a little margin. Love it on the top so that everything lines up here. Yep. Again, don't don't worry about that, that they're all exactly the same. Just kind of get them roughly in the right position, right? Um, I think that's a very valuable little piece right there because there are other things that you can do to, um, to modify that picture. But again, we're not looking at perfection at the moment. You want your information. People typically read left to right. Um, you, a lot true. of times, a lot of times, you want your information on the left so that you can come through. Again, your eyes are focused on the information. Variety of different things. See, this is even a an untrained sales guy. That's a, a you know, I have slept at Holiday Inn Express, so that's why I know some of this. Uh, <laughs> Marketing works, right? I was marketing. Well, marketing works. Exactly. I mean, that's a prime example of marketing working. You know, um, I'm an entrepreneur as well, gang. So th the fact is that along the way, I've had to learn some of these things to, um, to move our brands forward and to move our efforts forward from that side. It's now. Is it stuff that I love to do, want to do every minute of every day? No, that's, you got folks like Jenna who love doing this. She loves putting this together and having this. I just realized the time we're down to seven minutes. Well, hurry up. Stop fooling around. What do you mean? God, all this talking you're doing. <laughs> I thought that was my job. It is your job. <laughs> you don't have to answer me. It's not the first time that's ever happened. There we go. That's her actual color. Yay. All right. I'm going to try to find some icons quickly. Do, do. You want me to make a clock sound or anything? <laughs> Any countdown right, going? This is what we're doing right here. Unlearn pain myths. What can represent a myth? Um... Uh, what came to me is... Uh, Rx, like an Rx symbol, like that pharmaceuticals are good for you. That's a myth. Pharmaceuticals are are synthetic. That's what came to me in that situation. You've got that little hospital bag down there, or oh, the, I like the pills there. That's that that's kind of cool. Kind of like breaking open, like busting open the myth. Yep, I like that. That works. These are not perfect, but they're done. 
Oh wait, no, I don't need a JPEG. Look, I just did the wrong thing. Here I am, crunched for time, making mistakes. What? You I make mistakes? PNG. What? PNG. All right, five minutes a day. So we need a TikToker, TikTok. Clock. There's one. There's three of them. There's three of them. Yeah. On the left. On the left. Which one do you like? Well, actually, actually, I like the one with the bell bells on top. I think it's representative of the clock going off. This, like this one? Uh, it was... oh, we need the one with the bells. Or do we like the timer, like, upside down? I like the timer. Timer, actually. Oops, go away. Delete. And the timer one, we can actually change the color on. We can make it blue. Oh, nice. Yep. Again, not perfect. Gets your pictures right now that are custom. Nice. And bucket list. Do I download the right one? Yes. Okay. Mm, that could be almost anything from a bucket. Well, I mean, it could be a bucket. People running. That is some weird buckets. Champagne. Sir. Actually, the champagne bucket is probably a good one to represent that because it's of celebration. That's true. Kind of, kind of like the the champagne bucket there. Yeah, we can always change pictures. Um, this is one. Um, what was? Oh, it was for you. I have the best ideas in the car. Really, should like just record my entire driving. Experience. Awesome. Um, I was thinking for you. So remember yesterday we were working on yours. Yep. And we don't have a free download for you, but I was like, it'd be a really good one to attract is like 101. Uh, I can't remember the exact number we did, like tips for speakers, trainers and stuff like that. Right. Right. But if you will go get me a comprehensive, that, give me that list of a hundred, right? I will send it to my designers. And right now we are using um, design pickle. And I will have them turn that into an amazing PDF and download that's completely branded to U plus one that has that list of 100. And then we can start to add that copy into the lead magnet. And we'll even build that one live because I think it's important to see um, or at least go over it live because I don't want to do the pretty part. But I'll explain it live. How's that? Um, Perfect. Because you need that download that tells people, you know, that delivers the value that you promised on, but that also moves them to the next step. Right? Yeah. No, I like that idea. So if you can get that to me, and I'm going to need it in 10 minutes, by the way. Um, <laughs> that way we can have See that. See ya. Bye. I'm done. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't know if I can do it in 10 minutes, but I can do it, I think, pretty fast. I believe that. You know, I think I downloaded the wrong one. It, 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 it didn't give me my. I like that. That's a good look. I like that. Sometimes it takes, especially when I'm on live. There we go. It gives me a lag. Boom. I like that. Those are nice. Pain relief therapy, your body, it's the only place you have to live. We have a home. What is this about me? And a start here that's nice and bolded. Um, one you do all day, every day wrong. So it's kind of like a little bit teaser. Do it yourself in 20 minutes. A day. Oh, you know what? I have 20 minutes right here. Five minutes. Be consistent. Do it yourself in five minutes a day to prevent surgery and pills with terrible side effects. One you do all day, every day wrong. Fill in the yep. fields below, download the techniques, and take charge of your health today. Download now. That's terrible. Um, get pain free. Fast. Fast. Or now. No pills, no surgeries, no. Would people know? Do you know what woo-woo is? Some do, some don't. I think you're, you're, um, I think you'd, you'd, 
um, I, I think science, only a portion of the market would, would understand that. There we go. How about that? No pills, no surgery, all science based. Nice. But I basically want to bounce it. People understand that she's not like some like energy healer, hypnotist, crazy thing that they're not looking for. All right. And then um, I can't see the bottom. You know, the good news is we just hit 10. So that's our one hour. But unlike yesterday, I'm not on the same time crunch because on Mondays we have our members here. All rights reserved. That's right. Right. Um, the therapy. All rights reserved. So here's the reason I have privacy policy listed twice. You'll notice here at the bottom, um, it's got some stuff on it, right? I'm going to go copy my color here. This stuff is important and should not be forgotten. So for her, it's not going to be as important. Um, and you know what? That's actually the colors are up here on the top. So she doesn't need this one. She's going to need, everybody needs, if they're going to run advertisements, on right. Google, on Facebook ads. Um, I'm going to leave the disclaimer up um, just so she can put her medical health or whatever one in there. Um, right. But you must have, if you are advertising, a privacy policy and a terms and conditions, non-negotiable. You have to have it. Period, period. Great dot, tip. Dot. Um, You will get slammed. You will lose um, your ability to advertise. So right here, I'm changing the link cover color. This is like whenever, see now it's like that darker blue that belongs to her. Right. You can right. make that customized so it's not just blue. And you can change all the standard link colors, text colors, font families. So if I wanted to take her, I could turn around and put Lotto, whatever her particular font is. At the very beginning, screw the font. Like you don't need it. <laughs> yeah. When you get to like upper level branding, it's important. Okay, here's one that I wanted to show everybody since we're pretty much done with her home page um, as a first iteration to get her started. And it's essentially In an hour, by the way. I know, I know. No, um, so I mean, that's, to, I'm saying congratulations. Oh, Nicely you. done. Um, I'm going to come over here back to VizMe, and I'm going to show you what I mean by creating images fast. So we're going to go back to the dashboard, and we're going to create a new image. And I'm going to actually create an image for Facebook. And the reason being is every single page, you need to ensure that you have a social media image that social pages know to pull in your page um, a specific image, right? So right now it could pull in any of our background images. It could pull in, you know, her individual image and that would be weird, right? If you've ever seen right. like a weird image populate. So I'm going to go yeah. over here to Facebook. I want a Facebook post, but you know, that's not really long and thin. Um, let me go to LinkedIn because LinkedIn's oh, really, really busy. me. You're making me upset now. Okay, so you know what? I don't want to go to another builder. I have another builder for that. Let me try YouTube. G plus, what do those look like? Twitter. Okay, Twitter has a nice long horizontal image I can use. But here's all these pre-populated ones. You right. can choose which one works best for you and make that your social media image. Um, let's see if there's a nice easy one. Not easy. Yeah, I kind of like this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to even leave the picture. I'm going to add a filter to it in her color. We go back to my palettes, her blue. Nice. Did it do it? Did I save it? Oh, I didn't turn it on. Ah. Nice. And then I'm going to come back here. Like that one background with fonts. Background. Nope, I want font color. I want that to be white. Um, white again. Uh, Does that stand out enough? Yeah, it might. What if we come over here, we change the filter, and we up it? Yeah, then it pops. And then I'm going to replicate this one, add it to the bottom, and see it kind of <coughs> lines up things for you. 
pain relief therapy. Nice. Um, you know what though? If I come over here and I add her, I think I have her logo. Yeah. That actually has her name and everything in it, but her name is in blue. So this is a good reason you should have all your branding in multiple colors. So like she yep. needs a version where these words and stuff are all white. Yeah, we want one of the things we have with U plus one is we have all white logos, all black logos, and then our colorized logos. Um, so I kind of like um, well, let's see, five minutes a day. To Freedom. Like it. It's too big. Let me. No pills. No service. Like it. How's that work? That's a little small. I like the, the next size up. Oh, you did? I did. This one right here? Yeah, the no pills, no surgeries, just science. There, That works. Okay. I think it stair steps the, the copy as well. No, I agree. I agree. You're absolutely right. And so now I'm going to browse and upload, and I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to actually add another folder for her, social media, so that she has like a collection of just the social media icons. And then I'm going to drag and drop it up. Let me get rid of the other one so I don't accidentally use it. Boom. And of course, I left it untitled. I do that all the time. It's because you know what you want. I know what I want. <laughs> it's all good. I think if more women just knew what they wanted, that would solve a lot of the world's problems. Not touching that. It? <laughs> Did I get it? Okay, so I did get it. I just can't see it. All right, so we have a page here. So that's not the full website. That's her. This is essentially her landing page too. Like the it's only nice difference right here is between a landing page and her home page right now is for the landing page. I would turn off her header. That's it. Nice. So, I mean, that is the nice part about funnels is the ability to use these things over and over and over again and everything stays the same and you don't have to work hard at it. The other thing that then she can turn around and do is she can start A-B splitting her home page. Like you can make two iterations right. of this and one of these is um, it could be a different download. It could be a different image here. It could be a different headline. It could be a different image in the background. Now, the only thing I will say about A-B split testing before anyone wants to get all fancy is split testing's great if you have traffic. Right. It's if the only way you know that it works. It's not statistically significant if you're not driving traffic. Right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this, and we're going to look at it. And we're going to work on hers some more, too. So this actually works better. I might look at that, because this is, this is going over. That's going to annoy me. And that was when we tried to slip in her... We're saying here, I should know better than that. Um, oh, this is in page header options. Tagline, let's see if we cut that down. Save, refresh. There we go. It's nice. Much, much smoother. And the only thing that I might add, um, and I think I might change this one, is um, that would be a blog. I wouldn't name it blog. 
Um, Articles. Pain tips. Um, yep. Something pain relief tips, like very literal. And then that would link. This is the only thing I would not build in Kyvia. I would still build in WordPress is your actual blog page. And because it just can turn out SEO as a long-term strategy. Let me just rephrase that. Right. It should not be the first direction you go. Get your funnels up first, yep. then add a blog. Once you have a funnel that's working, once you drive specifically traffic to it from like conversations and LinkedIn and Facebook and maybe even ads, and then add a blog. Because the reality is most business owners are not going to write in a blog. Um, the other thing that you can do, and I did not do this on her page, is there's a little button up here. You can click to see how it looks on mobile. So you can see her logo up here. You can see the little hamburger stack. Um, you know, how the this is going to look on mobile. Um, so you might want to switch, you know, make this higher or on the different side. And that's why a lot of times um, it'll you can come up here and say, like, this image. Uh, where is this at? I'm clicking on the wrong one. Clone settings, animation and delay, visibility. Right here, visible on large and medium devices like um, your big tablets, like my iPad Pro. You right. can uncheck it so it will not show up on mobile. So if you have a feature or an HTML you know, encoded piece or something that just looks weird on mobile, you can come in here and turn that off. Like right Very here, cool. they stack up and they don't make any sense Without the explanation. So on here, I would come through and I would turn these off on small devices because that just does not, it doesn't work. And, and before you think mobile's not important, um, I have, my husband is a great example. He's an attorney and we run funnels for him, run traffic for him off Google and retargeting off of Facebook. Um, I clicked the wrong one here. Over 70% of all of his traffic is on mobile. Yeah. I have another client. It's 93% one month. It was insane. Um, let's give this one a little bit more top margin. Looks good. I think I'm pretty happy. This is in the wrong color. I got some HTML weirdness. Okay, let me go get the H. Uh, get me the color here. This is our sanity check. It's always good to sanity check these little things. I'm going to put my hex code here. Boom. Blue. Do your sanity check. Come back. Didn't even notice that, that man. When we changed the background image, it completely yeah. changed what it looked like. That's cool, though. So we're going to save good that. Catch. Hey, it's the small details, and again, you shouldn't get lost in, you know, right. too lost in it. But do some sanity checking along the way. We're, we're already over time, right? We're at 12 minutes now. Yep. But again, 12 minutes can polish it, right? And right here, like, I'd really like, um, this is an image I would like changed out. Again, this is another one. Go to Fiverr. Um, come up with your, you know, she, I know she actually has all of this have somebody create a nice PDF cover for your lead magnet. And then on Fiverr, go in there and spend $5 and have them lay it on top of, let me see if I can go, I'll actually go look at it. And I think Fiverr, um, I just emailed the guy, we're gonna have a grand opening next month for our new office. And they're gonna be one of the sponsors because that is actually where I started from. Awesome. Not a bad, and we've done some work for them and influencing and stuff like that. So it's just, it's been a great, so right here, I will create them. These are people who are creating the initial book cover, which is fine. Just let them know that you need it in print size, eight and a half by 11. Um, so I said book cover mock-up. Because when you have these offerings, you want it to be, um, you want it to feel tangible, right? Right. Um, so what you can do, kind of like right here. And you, I know everyone has seen these online. So have them, give them your cover that you've created for your PDF and have them lay it on here so it actually looks like a book. So it yep. looks a little bit more tangible. And there's several of these, like if you have, um, you're like, you get both my eBooks, right? Boom, there's both. Or that can be one, that can be front and back. 
here's another one stacked. And here's the thing, if you have a really incredible PDF, you can actually turn it into a real book. Like we're not really getting into that, right? And it's completely off topic. I can help um, you with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is not hard to turn something into a book right? so that you have like this additional credibility, right? Exactly. Um, and it's really easy. So do that and just start. And that book can be the thing that you talk about and you're like, hey, go get my free book. And like, just like you were saying, you have, um, let's put together 101 tips. Um, why 101? Because it's one more than everybody else. Um, That's right. Put together those tips. Like, I don't know where to be on screen. Uh, you can get micro books for like 23 cents a piece. So if you can get a micro book with your, essentially your free PDF download that you've already created and you just hand it to you like a designer on Fiverr, you pay them 40 bucks, they reformat it, um, have it printed, shipped in, you know, one of these book cover places, China, um, on Alibaba or something. And that can be your new business card. Yep. Nobody's gonna throw card. that away. If you hand that to somebody who's been a speaker, are they gonna throw a mini book they can keep in their pocket with your information on it, with 101 actionable tips. No, I gotta get to work on this right now. Yeah. Like I said, <laughs> give, me, give me the 101 tips I'll, first. I'll get it to you. And um, I've got your story and we'll have um, Design Pickle. They've been doing ours and they've been knocking out in Business Growth Network for our BG Insiders. We've been creating, um, and for We Coach Kaibio is how it started, but we created all these massive amount of templates. So people could work through their actual goals the way that I broke it down. Uh, oh, now Rayanne shows up. That's right. Now she shows up. That's right. Um, but we broke it down. I have um, oh, probably over 100 worksheets to make business easier. The good news is that's a tr transparent background picture, too. <laughs> that's because Be Live makes it. <laughs> So that's um, the picture you were looking for. That's good. I know. Let me now. I feel bad. I'm like I need to bring out what we did for. Her. It's all, um, yeah, that's right. People, um, I know Rayanne. She'll totally come in after the fact. But we basically built um, your homepage, but ultimately can be your landing page, just minus the header. Yep. Three it's easy awesome. techniques for improved health. Do it yourself in five minutes a day to prevent surgery and pills with terrible side effects. One you do all day, every day wrong. Um, fill the fields below. Download the techniques and take charge of your health today. Nice and actionable. Three easy techniques to change every your everyday life. Unlearn pain myths. Five minutes a day. Your bucket list. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't change the copy under here. Sanity check. Um, pain myths. Um, That's out of her story. Should be in the story. Yep, have been taught. Pain is directly caused by tissue damage. It's simply not always. Um, it's simply. Oh. What happened here? Pushing buttons on my computer that did not need to be pushed. This is simply not true. In cases. She typed it in the um, in the comments. If you have pain, you have damage. Myth. Your entire life, you have been taught that pain is directly. Let's see. Pain equals damage. Tissue damage. Um, um, pain always equals tissue damage is false. I don't want to just say pain equals tissue damage is false because. I can promise you if somebody snapped my arm right. in half, my pain is directly attributable to good, tissue damage. Good, good point. Good point. 
Um, pain, um, pain always equals tissue damage is false. Learn how to unlearn. You go to the comments. Does she have like great ideas here? If you have pain, you have damage as a myth. Um, pain equals tissue damage. Depends on how clinical you want to get with that. Yeah, you learn know. how to unlearn. I know. That's why you probably don't want to. Learn how to unlearn. I don't want to get like woo woo at all. Like I don't want to even go there. Learn how to. Well, that's our, the comment is you can also have damage with no pain. Learn how to unlearn. Learn. Learn the difference. And um, I don't love this one. Try. Oh, wait. Try. No, 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 no. True or false? True or false. Pain always equals tissue damage is false. Learn the difference in how to retrain the brain. That kind of rhymes. Retrain the brain. Yep. And then it turns into four lines, which drives me crazy. Nobody likes the word tissue. There we go. Five minutes a day. Um, learn the three simple techniques. Why does it do that to me every now and then? I can't wait to there. They have a new editor coming out in a couple of months. It's always two months, two months. That's good. Um, That's good. Learn. And I can't wait because you can like, let's say you're with another company or you have your website on a, you know, like custom built by a designer. Here's, here's why I can't wait for it to be done. These website designers who come in and they hold your website hostage, you'll right. be able to take the link to your website drop it in the Kaivio builder and it will completely replicate the thing. Boom. That's awesome. Done. Done. That's a boom. Learn. Boom. Boom. Learn the three techniques to to three techniques you can use every morning to eliminate the majority of pain. Three, te three easy techniques. Three easy techniques right. you can use every morning to eliminate the majority of pain holding you bucket list. Stop. Um, I know, it's every time I completely start like the stuff over again. Okay. Pain keeps you from living life to the fullest. One life, one body. Take it on a journey. Doing the things you love. Is that too vague? Nope. I think I was going to say live full out. Take it on a journey. You said living full out? Yeah, I said live full out or play full out. Either way. I think that plays a little bit more to the manly spirit too. A little yep. journey. All right, this one is on its way. And it's Perfect. definitely usable. The only thing is it's not connected to active campaign. 
um, what's this will be a little story about what she's actually talking about, about me. It's her story that we have um, right here. And we're going to turn that into um, a great page. I think what I'm going to have to do is start like, we're going to do these in the morning. I'm going to start one at night too or something. Like just in my free time, those little pieces that make all the difference um, after yeah. the fact. Yeah. Um, and she's actually one of our Business Growth Network Insider members. Um, has been for like the last two years helping us work all the kinks out. Um, and so I want to make sure that she's really taken care of. Um, I don't want to keep everybody forever. Let me go ahead and take this down. Yep. Um, we got here. The pain experience is a combination of biomechanical, psychological, and social factors. Man, nobody cares. Yeah, <laughs> you that's what I was going to say. Say it may be very true. Yeah, oh, it's I'm true. Out. It's you very true. I'm out. <laughs> you got all sciencey on me. Yeah, we went full blower science. All right, so um, Scott, thanks so much for being here every single time, and I hope you get out as much of this. Like I just geek out on this stuff. No, it's um, fun. It's well, but but again, you uh, you know, there's some sites that I haven't used. There's some different things. I, you know, I mean, I, I think we keep on working on it. We can do a, do a lot of good for a lot of people. I think that's the fun of it all. And here's the thing. It's not perfect, but it's done, and we're helping people. It, it would be hard to believe that it could be perfect in an hour. So, <laughs> um, But, hey, guys, if y'all guys want us to build your funnel in the mornings, here's the thing. I've got five days a week, and I can absolutely go back to people that we've already worked on. I've got Dwayne Holloway, who we're going to work on this week, um, right. building those brick builders. Um, I've got Kyle, and you know, I've not even asked Kyle what he's done, so that's going to be a complete surprise. Um, who else has been in there? Um, oh, we got that Kyle. U plus one thing. Oh, yeah, there's U, U plus one. <laughs> little funny thing. Yours is going to be like this thing. I feel like we're going to no, have I know. one day a week. Where yeah. like we work on U plus one until it's done, um, but I definitely want to get some people in there too, no so that we can show um, the different roundabouts and things that we can do. And I've got Alan, and we're going to be doing his dojo, Eskrima baby. Nice. That is actually my um, my Eskrima coach, and you have to see the videos online. My favorite video, I think, one of my favorite videos of all time, not counting my kids, is my sister flew in from Seattle and was here for over the Christmas holidays. Or, you know, maybe it was back in May, summer. And when she moved off to Seattle and my dad's dropping off, you know, his baby girl, like literally the baby, and she's 21, got this amazing six-figure job at Amazon Coding, Girls Who Code Rock. Um, but she's in Seattle, and she's never really left either my dad's house or my house. And he's like, man, you, you need to take, like, you know, just maybe some training on how to defend yourself. So what does my sister do? Her and I always take things to the infinite degree, right? She goes and takes kickboxing with like a private coach and um, Muay Thai, which is one of the most violent fighting styles. Right. Exactly. And she does it hardcore every single day. And she comes back to Dallas and I've been in Eskrima training, which is a Filipino style with knives and um, swords and sticks. Nice. He comes back with kickboxing and um, Muay Thai. And we just put like the gloves on and the padded sticks and just went at it. And it's like two sisters. So we're just, we're actually trying to hurt each other. Uh, yeah, no. Just remind me not to make you angry. <laughs> um, I don't get angry. I'm more <laughs> All right. I'm loving what I have. But if you want your funnel done, it's at doublefunnel.tv slash one right now. I need to get my designer to make it whatever. Um, I think um, there's not a lot of love when you change from a .com, .net, .org. If you go to like, I have .marketing, .tv, um, they get all weird. Yeah. I'll have Angelo, my web designer, fix it for me. That gets into the technical stuff. So you want it awesome, though, awesome. even put in the comments. I'll have a link to go get it in the comments. Let's get your funnel built. Like I'm not going to tell you some lie that like one funnel is going to change your life. The very first funnel you, a funnel you build, that's a lie. That is an absolute lie. But you can get one built and you can work on it and work on it and you can try out a different lead magnet or try out a different entry point offer until you get that one that can change your life. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you, Jenna. We'll All see right. everybody tomorrow. And bye, guys. Oh, Angelo. That's my web, dude. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.